Why is there a minimap? It's so strange. You see that? The cutscenes never do that. Why is there a minimap? Anyway, I'm guessing I know what's gonna happen next. I already said that before. Those two generals are gonna probably appear and gonna be really annoying. I'm gonna try to actually fight them. Hopefully there's no, uh, like, billion hour dungeon before that. Which was made specifically to waste as much time as physically freaking possible. Yeah, I, uh, I will be really pissed off if that's the case. Hopefully it's just those two generals and then the bunch of cutscenes. So, are you weirdos gonna go to school again? Cause... You're freaking weirdos. You fought to go to school. Good lord. I can imagine myself fighting not to go to school. Damn, I remember how many days I have missed. Oof. I hated that place. Damn, it's still going. Wait, shouldn't you hide that? It's just a in full view of everyone? Seriously? Right there? What if someone steals it? I... Seriously, what if Vita just shows up, teleports it away, and... Like nothing ever happened? There's probably some kind of magic which can seal him. I'm so happy to finally be back. Looking around, I'm not alone in that sentiment either. Maybe it won't last, but everyone's determined to enjoy it to the fullest while they can. After all, who knows what tomorrow will bring. I knew things wouldn't instantly go back to normal, but I didn't expect all that to be thrown on us. Oh. You gotta do it through the... <laughs> Why? Why do you f flash forward and then suddenly do a flashback? I <laughs> it's such a weird way to go about things. It's like Japanese just have some kind of weird fetish for flashbacks. You want us to help liberate the capital? With Ruhr and Berea hard silent, we have a firm foothold to take back Heimdall. If we don't seize the moment before the year is up, there's every chance the war will drag on even longer as a result. Fighting is still brutal as ever in Western Erebonia. If the Nortia and Kreutzen provincial armies keep their word not to interfere, we may be able to turn the war around. Hmm. That does sound like the best chance we'll ever get, but I still have doubts. I've said it before, and I'll say it again. We have no intention of taking an active role in the war. We simply wish to fulfill our duties as Military Academy students. That sounds perfectly fine to me. We aren't asking you to fight on the front lines to retake the city. Rather, we would like you, the students of Thor's Military Academy, to liberate one very specific location. Yeah? And where might that be? I'll be the one explaining that. You're here too? You're from the Intelligence Division. Huh. Hi, Elector. Long time no see. You back from Crossbell? Yep. The most pressing problem over there is all taken care of now. So I was finally able to access the Intelligence Division's network again. Wait a second. Most pressing problem? What happened over there? Oh, you know, that Azure tree is gone. There was a ton of confusion after its disappearance, but President Kreis has been arrested, and things are beginning to calm down. We had no idea. I remember feeling an incredible amount of mana from that tree. Whatever happened there, it's obvious Ouroboros was involved. Regardless of how it came to happen, the fact remains. Crossbell is of no danger to us now. 
Yet with that comes new dangers on the horizon. What do you mean, Dad? Now that Crossbell is no longer a threat, there's every chance the Calvert Republic might make a move, is that correct? The Republic still has its own share of chaos as a result of their economic crisis and terrorism. But now that there's an opening to take Crossbell, we've no doubt they will recover sooner rather than later. And without Gorelia Fortress to serve as an effective deterrent, there's always the possibility they could use Crossbell as a staging area to launch a military incursion into Erebonia. As a result, our primary concern is ending this war as soon as possible. And we could use your assistance in bringing it to an ever swifter conclusion. I understand the situation. In that case, where is this specific location that you'd like us to liberate? That would be the Corel Imperial Villa. Hey, isn't that... That's the Imperial family's villa on the outskirts of the city, right? Are you suggesting that my family is at the villa? We believe your assumption to be correct, Your Highness. The Intelligence Division has established that His Imperial Majesty and the rest of your family have been imprisoned there. Lady Elise Schwarzer and Imperial Governor Regnitz are also with them. <gasps> huh, he's there too? Okay. It's been a while since you actually talked about him at all. Because I think he was actually an important character, but you kind of completely forgot about him. That's there too? They've been there this whole time? It's close to the capital, but it's surrounded on all sides by cliffs and the like. That makes it the perfect place to keep VIPs hidden away. Exactly. The only way to access it via land is a special train that runs from Heimdall Station, and that is currently heavily secured by the Imperial Guard. However, were your party to use the Courageous to fly there, you should be able to get inside. I think you already know our answer. Yeah, I'm in. If you say they're there, Lecter, then they're there! It's not much different from liberating Ruwer or the Twin Dragon's Bridge, if we think of it like rescuing someone related to us. Indeed. While the Imperial family is naturally of great importance, rescuing a member of the Board of Directors fits our motives to a T. And we've always seen it as our duty to help those related to the Academy. Guess that settles that. Uh, thank you. I truly appreciate it. <laughs> well, aren't we being humble? <laughs> this is what friends do. To think these kids would turn out to be so dependable. You're telling me. They're almost dazzling. <laughs> your Highness, may we have your permission to move forward? Yes, by all means. I, Alvin Rice Arner, humbly request that you carry out this mission. Very well, Your Highness. Students of Thor's Military Academy, I hereby declare that we shall dedicate our all to the liberation of the Corral Imperial Villa. I feel like this could have taken like one minute at most. Instead, it's dragged out for way too long. For all I know, tomorrow could determine the outcome of this war. And yet I feel completely at peace. Oh, it's before the operation. But still, we did a stupid flashback thing. Just being back here, seeing the sky, and being surrounded by this cool air, makes me feel so happy. Why? You're not planning on standing here alone the whole night, are you? Oh, hey, Selene. Where's Emma? Who knows? I'm guessing she's over in the literature club's room. One of the second years dragged her off. Something about checking if any of her precious book collection had vanished. <laughs> that would be Dorothy. I don't know. I could wander around, but my head's kind of full at the moment. It's like it's suddenly registering just how much this academy means to me. Why? I knew I liked it, but I never realized how much. Oh, well, whatever you end up doing tonight, make it count. With both Vita and Ouroboros involved, you haven't seen the worst this war has to offer. The hardest part's yet to come. And you don't want to face your friend in the goofy bandana weighed down by regrets, do you? True enough. Oh, hey! Are you here because you were worried about me? You've always been so considerate of us. 
even if you do try to hide it by acting grumpy half the time. <sighs> Stop that! You can't go around being nice to every girl you run into. Try treating someone special for once. That's very weird to say. Surely there's someone who fits that description better than me. Someone special, huh? This could be the last night you have to enjoy before everything goes to hell. Go and walk around a bit already. Oh, and go pay Valimar a visit too. Huh. Honestly, anyone with half a brain could have figured that out. Why do I have to be the one to tell you? I suppose she's right. It seems a shame to waste a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity standing around here alone. Besides, it's been a long time since I was last here at the Academy. I should walk around and see everyone. I've got a lot of catching up to do with the people in Trista. And after Valimar offered to stand guard near the west exit, it wouldn't feel right to leave him by himself the whole night. Can I use quick travel? Okay. Yeah, half of those decisions don't make any sense to me. Uh, yeah, what do I do now? So... There are no bonding points. Okay, I don't like that. That usually means that I have... Okay, I can interact with Tolva and a bunch of other people, but where's Sarah? Uh, and also, can I... Go meet, go to Trista, or do I need to stick to the academy? Okay, he's not saying anything. I guess I can go to Trista. Okay, that's where Sarah is. Okay, you guys have fun. I'm going to Sarah. Just probably getting drunk again. <laughs> huh. What's your cooking? It's really cold out tonight, so we're out giving hot drinks to anyone who wants to warm up. Why are you even outside at this time of night? It's really good to have everyone back, I really missed seeing all of you. <laughs> uh, sorry, I always cry over stuff like this, I get so emotional with these things. Well, I thought I could actually get a drink, but okay, I guess you just want to talk. <laughs> Can't even get a drink in here. Ridiculous. Ah, goddamn, I'm gonna be interrupting. Ah, oh, this sucks. Oh well. Evening rain. Out for a little stroll to see what everyone up to. Yeah, I guess. I shouldn't be surprised you passing this time if you're a good friend, Mr. Booze. Well, my plan was to have a little get-together with all the instructors to celebrate finally be get being back. But the only ones who shone so far are me and these two, and they're not exactly my first choice for drinking buddies. <laughs> That was the most one of your students is fucked outside. <laughs> like, I'm enjoying this, oh god. He also wants to get a drink? Nah, it's alright, I wouldn't want to intrude. If I sat down, it'd be all over. I'd never escape. I wish we have instructors would hurry it up. I'm not sure how much longer I can suffer this company. I would have been better off just getting sloshed by myself at the counter. <laughs> That's what you usually do. You could be a gentleman and score some brownie points with your poor teacher, Rin. How about giving me an excuse to blow this giant? What do you mean? Well, I'm not... I'm sure not having any fun sitting around here, and my chances of getting drunk are plummeting by the minute. So, given my choice, I'd rather kick back and relax over at the dorm with you. What do you say? Oh! Oh my! <laughs> well, yeah. Kidding me? Fine, fine, I'll head over to the dorm for in, in a little while. <laughs> Attaboy. I'll give these guys the sleep as soon as I can, then. See you later. Okay, I guess I'll head over to the dorm once I've done everything else that I was thinking of doing. Oh boy, what are we gonna do at the dorm? With nobody else in there? Uh, can I even show this on YouTube? Oh, okay. Does it do anything special? I'm kinda curious. Hold up, uh, I don't know what's in it. Uh, items. Okay, golden pasta. No, it's not that special. Actually, freeze better for faint. You can cure it with other stuff. It's kind of weird. Okay, do you have anything cool? Any cool food? Oh yeah, you do have more food. Oh yeah, I can just buy it. 
and it's not that expensive. Hmm. Okay. I guess. I'm not sure why you give to that, but I'll take it. So, I'm assuming I'm supposed to talk to everyone. Using every single bit of my love, why don't you pick a on that bench over there and feed them to each other? Should you be overtaken by a long, long end to be, to be end up tangled and blah blah blah? Oh, <laughs> please, anything worse that! <laughs> oh, check the notebook updated. Interesting. I'm afraid I've yet to discover a way to control the idea Margarita when she gets like this. It appears you have no recourse but to attempt to pacify her yourself. May I suggest accepting her offer of a warmer brace and whispering sweet nothings in her ear as a starting point? <laughs> no, you may not! Uh. Oh, you too! Uh, you know what? I'm not doing that. Man, I can't believe how long it's been since we were last here. The night kind of reminds me of Academy as Festival after party too. So I'm here especially because it smells like good business waiting to happen. Just think of all the commemorative sales we could hold if we get this war wrapped up. My wall is feeling thicker already. <sighs> Nothing but profits in that head of yours, is there? Goddamn. Uh, oh, that weirdo. I remember you. How did I know I'd find you here? <coughs> <coughs> Joyous stones such as this give me give off a sweet call for traveling mu musicians of my elegant caliber. Please, I insist, allow me to volunteer my music to make this night to remember. But I hate to admit it, things do feel a little more high spirited with him around. <laughs> yeah, don't show that to weirdo. Colette. Uh, I think I rescued you a while ago. So nice to hang out again, we haven't talked in forever. We have to be sure to give shopping together as soon as this stupid war is over, okay? You've got a promise. Okay, more character updated. 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 <laughs> after all the turmoil, it's nice to have life back to normal here after so long. I've missed being able to go on these relaxing walks of mine. They weren't very relaxing or enjoyable with our lines around. Okay. Logins and Frido. Are you a fencing people who had a side quest in the first game? You and Elm have really gotten stronger since I was away. <laughs> Looks like a war provided you both with ample training opportunities. Pretty sure you could probably still wipe the floor with us both at once, though. And to be fair, Patrick's gotten a little tougher and a little less of an asshole, too. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> I think he's still <laughs> an asshole. <laughs> Just a little. Uh, you know, Logan, so there's no harm in giving someone a, an honest compliment once in a while. Uh, I don't know about that. Hey. I'd like something warm to drink, free of charge, of course, and courtesy of Merchants of Trista. Today have celebrations, so that's all the more reason to make sure you don't catch a cold. Then give me a drink! I already asked, but you're not giving me anything! <laughs> Such a cock tease. Hey. Good evening. Lovely to see the town so vibrant again, isn't it? Uh, that it is. Though I take it if you're... Well, I take it you're here pre preparing for tomorrow instead of joining in the festivities. You've got it. We're getting our high-speed vehicles prepped in Trista Station as we speak. We already got a team at work near Corral too. On top of that, the 4th Div Division rolls out tomorrow morning. Get some rest tonight. We won't have the luxury of for much longer, unfortunately. I will. Will I? Really? Or is it gonna be a sleepless night? Rex and I have been running around town taking as many pictures as we can. <laughs> it's nice to see how happy everyone is. That's not a frown to be found. Seeing everyone like this reminds me what smiles are, what I wanted to capture most. Okay, another update. I feel like it's supposed to be important, but they just don't care. Uh, I love the mood tonight. What do you say about a tour of the town ourselves? Hmm, <laughs> that does sound nice. It'll be just like a date. Oh, I know. Maybe we should wrap ourselves up together in that red scarf again. <laughs> oh, that might be a little too cute. Oh, this br brings back memories. Uh, what kind of memories, Reen? Also, 
<laughs> Should he be watching this? Okay, let's check with that guy's shop. Yeah, we are kid, you know that? Everyone's out celebrating, and you're hanging out in a dingy old shop. <laughs> nice to see what the war hasn't changed your attitude, at least. I hear you, you were gathering information on the war, passing it to, on to Principal Van Dyke this whole time. I wanted to thank you for that. <laughs> well, you gotta do something to kill time when business is slow, right? Seriously, kid, it is no big deal. But what's this I hear about you helping out the Imperial Army with, a, with an operation tomorrow? Let me give you a word with this. Watch your back. You can't stick your hand into a hoarder's nest while getting stuck. Every action has a consequence. That's very true. I'll be sure to keep that in mind tomorrow. So, can I access the actual shop? Uh, okay, zero. Zero, zero. Okay, nice. Wait, what did the bot exchange? Okay, that's not it. Uh, ground baits. Can I get you material instead? The might that shield R. Ah, oh, it's, uh, you get spells, but you also get a bunch of passive stats, so... It's basically the same thing, but you also get things. Uh, other things. Speed 9. It's probably really good. Chronoburst attack twice in succession. Do you have just Chronoburst instead? Because I think I... Ooh, hold up, what's this? Action 3. What I need? Get them also you material. Everything needs you material, but like two things drop it. As far as I know. Ooh. Prevent scale. Revives and kill. Why is it emergency packet? The pu puppet is usually proxy puppet, right? Hmm. Maybe there's some special effect to in addition to that. Uh, skill handbook. Okay, what does that do? Very rare small watch with various animals on it. Health with speed. Prevents delay. I mean, it's pretty good, but. God damn, why did I buy so much stuff if they can't exchange all of it? Uh, citrus, blah blah blah. Didn't I already have that? I could have sworn I had Pendulum already. Prevents seal mute. Yeah, I do have it. Hold up. Blue emblem. Blue pendulum, I have pendulum. But I don't have blue for some reason. What about green? I don't have gre green either. <sighs> God, there was too many things, and all nearly all of them require that hue material. I still don't know what exactly that is. It's just this annoying resource which, which was added and like half the things required. Like, you wanna upgrade weapons? You material. You wanna get some quartz? You material. You wanna, I don't know, go to the toilet? You material. Like, let me do something. Jesus. Can I do something without you material? Yeah, you can buy useless food. Oh, jeez, thanks. Okay, what about you guys? I'm so glad to see everyone here is alone, right? I've been so worried about them. I'm so, so happy. I was seen. Genius somewhere. Wait, was she in Keldic? Hmm, might have been. Uh, I feel like there's a ton of backstories I kind of missed, and right now I'm kind of out of uh, out of it. Yeah, uh, yeah, you know me, real fritter, fritter. I don't know what the word. Someone to come and thank you again. Thank me? For what exactly? I couldn't have united the whole academy on my own. We were unable to do it because you issued that statement. So, thanks, Patrick. I'll be counting on your help tomorrow, too. You're joking, right? You came all the way here just to say that? Let me take this chance to make things crystal clear for you, Schwarzer. We are not friends. And while you might have bested me earlier, I fully intend to settle that score among others at a later date. In order to do that, we'll need to return from tomorrow's operation alive and well. And since we must, so we shall. Uh, now we're talking. Okay, so here's still a dick. Is there an event with her? An event with anybody? I can meet with Tova. I wonder if it's gonna interrupt what I'm gonna have with uh, Sarah. Kind of afraid of that. Uh, 
just in case. Just in case. Okay, so... Rooftop. Hmm. Why would she be alone on the rooftop? Okay, she's not alone, thank god. <laughs> I was afraid it's gonna be something romantic. Oof. Don't want any of that. Toto can do so much better oh, than Reen. You guys are all up here? Hi, Reen. Hey. Nice night, isn't it? Uh, it's a little on the chilly side, but it still feels pretty nice since there's no breeze out. Oh yeah, you're right. Again's making me feel all emotional. <laughs> no doubt. Especially since, unlike the rest of us, you guys were last here during the festival. You're probably feeling lonely with Crow missing. Are you gonna say something dumb, aren't you? Toa, George, Angelica. I want to Pretty thank good you. so far. Huh? What for? You guys have helped us out so much. There's no way we could have gone that far without you. If it were just us first years, I don't think things would have gone half as well. So, on behalf of everyone here, thank you for everything you've done. <laughs> we should be the ones thanking you. Yeah. Think about all the work Class 7 put into this and try saying that again. Exactly. You guys even helped me deal with my old man. Where would I be without you? I guess. But for the record, we've needed you just as much as you say you need us, you know. You shouldered the most responsibility on the Courageous. The ship that carried us and our dreams this far. And I'm gonna need you to keep watching our backs tomorrow. You <laughs> like you even had to ask. We'll be right there with you. We would never abandon you after we've come this far together. Thanks. I get this feeling like tomorrow's going to mark a turning point for us. Yes, it's gonna be a sequel. Whether the Imperial Army's operation is a success or a failure, it feels like the time for me to fight Crow is almost here. That's true. <laughs> yeah, he won't let a chance like this just waltz on by. And this time, I'm not going to let him win. I'll beat him, drag him right back here, and force him to finally graduate with you. <laughs> you sure that's even possible, Reen? That's not going to be... I'm well aware that it won't be easy, but everyone, not just me, wants the four of you together again. Class 7 managed to reunite, right? Now it's your turn. You're amazing, Reen. And if you say that's what you're gonna do, I've got no reason to doubt you. Good luck. <laughs> Tomorrow's operation is sounding crazier by the minute. Seriously. I better hope I can finish polishing off that Tachi. <sighs> God, I don't know what it is, but that speech was just... That whole talk was... I just didn't care about any of it. It's like I, I saw that hundreds of times before in all the different media. In movies, in anime, in manga, in comics, in everything. I, in, in video games as well. It's like, I've seen this so, so many times. And it's like the same goddamn speeches again and again and again. It's like, not a single bit of imagination. I just can't care at all. And I get what it's supposed to be emotional, but I just... Cannot at all care. Okay, I just wanted to say to talk to Fee and see what she's doing. And then I'm gonna go to the dorm. Hey. 
Says to know what the flowers I planted before we had to leave the academy are still doing okay. Edel said she looked after them for me. That's good. Did you remember to thank her? Of course. We wouldn't be blooming like this without her, but she wasn't their only source of support. They're just like, like us in a way. They need care, water, sunlight, and people to help them along. That's for sure. <sighs> Damn, even she's talking like that. Ah, I see pots. I want to break them. Ah! Come on, just let me lock her with a sword. <laughs> Fine. Now, I can talk to flowers as well. These flowers are blooming and, and are giving off a soothing fragrance. Hey. Look at how capable you've all become. I was especially pleased to see what Fee and Vivi have developed into such fine young ladies. How lucky I am to see their return. Why are you talking like an old woman? You're probably like a year older and that's it. That's weird. Actually, yeah, I'm kinda also curious about old schoolhouse. What's going on there? That's the one place that you probably get nothing going for it, right? Oh, Emily's here. Okay. Hey. Oh, this is where you were, checking up on an old schoolhouse? That's right, we've been away for so long that I thought it would be a good idea to do so. It seems to have been largely inert since the day Valmar awoke. Well, that's kind of reassuring. One less thing to worry about now. I appreciate you doing this, so don't take this the wrong way, but why don't you give each thing a rest for tonight? Tomorrow we'll be right back to putting our lives in line, so for right now you should try to take it easy. I suppose you're right. Well, at the very least, I'll stop by the literature club and see Dorothy later. She's been on Clown 9 since she got access to her books again, so I should probably go bring her back to the ground. Hmm, <laughs> good luck with that. Can, can I walk inside? Hmm, okay. Ah, okay, so... To the dorm room, I guess? Can I? Oh, yeah, I can! Ah, so that's how you do it. Okay. So you have a special button to travel. Uh, just just a heavy dorm. Okay, I can't quick travel to a dorm. Kind of annoying, since I just want to be in front of it and then move into it. It's like I want to quick travel and prevent doing what I'm doing right now. Just save a few seconds. Okay, so I'm assuming if I do... Uh, let's see. Event with Tova and with the princess, it's gonna be like, yo, you can do this, or you can do the event with Sara, and you know, yeah, no brainer. I'm gonna choose Sara every time. <laughs> Kidding me? <laughs> it's so strange to be back here again. But as much as I'd like to sit around and reminisce, I don't want to waste a night like tonight indoors. Besides, I've still got to talk to Tova and Jock and George. I've done that. Might as well check on Valmar while I'm at it too. Okay, so I got a text to other people right now. Okay, so Valmer's on the other side. So let's travel there. That's just this button. Okay. Uh, do, 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 do. What's up, Valmer? Oh, good thing it hey, wasn't Valmar. a loading screen. No, okay. Hello, I came to see how you were holding up. Sure was a surprise when you offered, but thanks for volunteering to serve as a lookout. Uh -huh. Not a problem. Perhaps you and your friends have influenced me to some degree. Okay, hold up. Ha ha? Ha ha? Robots don't do that? What the hell? Each and every one of you have come a long way to take this place back. Oh my god. Do I even... Even making the robot talking cliches, which are not robotic. I simply wish for you to be able to dedicate this evening to celebrating that achievement. <laughs> Thanks. God damn, I hate writing for this game. Holy crap. You know, looking back, I never figured the day would come when I'd be able to have a natural conversation with you like this. I'm feeling this is not a conversation, this is one person talking to himself. You've changed a lot in that regard. You've gone from sounding mechanical to dignified, I suppose. I've been working to gradually recover my memories over time. And while still fragmented, I am now able to recollect specific memories from my past. But really? Does that mean you remember some of what happened before you went to sleep in the old schoolhouse? Correct. I went to sleep 250 years, 128 days ago. And my previous awakener was a man known as Dracul's Rice Arner. 
only days? What about hours? What about minutes? What about seconds? That's not how AIs do things. Wow. So it really was Dreykel's, huh? I had my suspicions when I saw that memory in the last shrine, but I didn't want to assume. I believe you resonated with the memories that reside within the proving grounds. Dreykel's visited the spirit shrines as you did. In each one, he obtained the same ore with which to forge his weapon, advanced upon the same capital, and it was there, with many allies at his side, that he laid the war to rest in one final confrontation. Where is the sword? It's kind of eerie how similar our paths are, but it makes me feel a little self-conscious too, in a way. I doubt we're doing all this half as well as he did. What kind of person was he, anyway? He was an open-minded, composed, and driven man, full of bravery and daring, and in some ways, an enigma. Yet for those he met, he was ever kind and useful. Ah, you're gonna say this. Like, oh, it's just like green. Ah, oh my God, this is such a cliche. I just <laughs> so if if I could roll my eyes, I would be doing full 360, just spinning like a helicopter. And still the times, one who see in his eyes the glimmer of charms. He was really something, wasn't he? Hearing you talk about him, I don't know if I could be anything like he was. Ah. Maybe if I were, I'd be able to do more for everyone. There is little need in striving to be something you are. But he obviously is, because this is a cliche, because of... Huh? Since I awakened, I have watched over you. I have seen you grow as a person. Brightles found success in playing to his strengths. You, though different, possess strengths no less great. Just as he attracted his own supporters, so too have you gained those who would choose to stand by your side and no other. Take pride in those who become your sword, for not even kings can buy the world to you or her. Uh, thanks, Valimar. You're right. I should focus on improving myself as I am, rather than try to become someone I'm not. Seeing as how I'm fighting for my future and to bring home my friend, it wouldn't make sense to be anyone else, really. Oh, yeah. Uh, it sounds like the Tachi will be done by morning. Hold up. Hold up. First of all, Tachi was done before. Second of all, what does it go in thing? So, if you're up for it, I think we should test it out tomorrow. I'll be counting on you, Valimar. I shall do all within my power. Are uh, you not gonna address it? It's right there! It's a glowing thing! Talk about the glowing thing, goddammit! That's an actual interesting thing. Why did you ignore it? It's right there! Are you kidding me? What the hell was that? Oh my god! Well, one interesting thing you need to ignore it completely. God! Just... I'm gonna stop communicating properly, I'm just gonna make random noises at this point. Jesus. Jesus. <sighs> Should I head inside and wait already, though? I think I'm kind of early. Turn into the dorm, talking with your chosen character will cause the main story to advance. Ooh. Chosen character, yeah, that. <laughs> okay. So, should I. Um. Okay, so, since this is all gonna be edited in post, I hope there's not gonna be. So, it doesn't matter if there's anything inappropriate. I would doubt something like that would happen, but there's always a possibility. Japanese are weird. <laughs> and having teacher or student relationship is a possibility. Finally. Sorry if I kept you waiting. Oh boy. Not at all. I think I actually showed up a little early. Finally had enough booze for the night, I take it? Yeah, had enough of the bad company too, so I managed to skedaddle. Besides, she probably has enough uh, 
drinks in her room anyway. I figure the others should be able to handle things over at the academy. Just standing here really does bring the memories flooding back, doesn't it? For as long as we spent here, it feels like we've been away even longer. But I'm glad you made good on your word and took it back from the Alliance. So am I. And I know I couldn't have done it without you. Say, while we're here, why don't we take a little stroll through the place? I'm feeling the itch to see if everything upstairs is like we left it. An itch. Oh. It's a date. Oh. Don't use those words. Shame Crow isn't back with us like old times, huh? Who cares about him? In a way, he hasn't changed a bit since his first day. Even then, he was never honest with his feelings. Oh, yeah. You helped out with the Arcus trials they all did last year, didn't you? Yep. We sent them all over the country. Just like we did with you guys during your field studies. Sometimes, I can't help but wonder that if I'd noticed something was off with Crow back then, we all could have been spared a lot of heartache. I've known him even longer than you guys have. Heck, I was his teacher. I guess I keep thinking maybe there was something I could have done. It's not your fault. Crow's planning was meticulous. He'd been setting it up for years. He would have gone through with it either way. But I'm not going to sit back and let that be that. I'll face him down, beat him, and bring him back. That's my promise. He'll be back where he belongs, with us. And you'll be there with us too. Yeah? <laughs> I know you'll do everything you can. If anyone can bring Crow back, it's you guys. It's been almost two years since I traded in my bracer badge for the whole teacher shtick. But there's never been a day when I regretted making the switch. Likewise, we couldn't have ended up with a better homeroom teacher. You know, I think you could have done both, actually. I don't think there's anything in the brace uh, rules which prevents you from doing that. Your method seemed really bizarre at first, but when I look back, everything you did prepared us for what was to come. <laughs> Thanks. It makes me happy to hear that. I'd like to think that you all learned a lot from me, but over the past year, I've learned plenty from you guys too. Things I never learned pounding the battlefield as a Jaeger or during my time with the bracers. But whatever the future holds for me, I know the time I spent here will help guide me in whatever I end up doing next. Wait, whatever the future holds? You're not thinking of... <laughs> I don't even know anymore. No matter which side comes out on top in this war, the Empire's never going to be the same again. When it's all over, should I stay on as an instructor here? Should I go back to being a bracer? Or branch out to something new? All I know is that I want to be able to support you guys in whatever you decide to work towards, as much as I can. Just how I'm going to do that, I don't really know yet. I'm hoping that fighting through the battle ahead of us brings me an answer. <laughs> you really are amazing, you know that? No matter how fast we grow, you're always a step ahead of us, pushing forward into the unknown to show us the way. I'm never gonna be able to measure up to you, am I? What do you mean? You're experienced, reliable, always ahead of us, just out of reach, but guiding us forward. You're strict sometimes, but you're always compassionate, and you bury your weaknesses deep down to be someone we can rely on. And somewhere along the way, I started to hope that one day, I'll be able to finally catch up to you, so that we can think of each other as peers, as something more than just teacher and student. Oh my. <sighs> As things stand, I'm still a long way from being there. When this war is behind us, and life slows back down to its normal pace, there'll come a day when I graduate from Thor's and head out into the world as a real man. When that day comes, I want to be there for you, in some way, as your equal. Oh my. <laughs> well, you're just full of surprises tonight, aren't you? 
With all that's been going on, I never realized you felt that way about me. You can be pretty daring sometimes, you know that? I'm sure you're well aware that I go for the classy, mature gentleman type, and not students, though. Yeah, but we're looking toward the future, right? Students grow up. Boys become men. Oh my, he's basically openly admitting it now. Sure, I might not look the part now, but one day I'll be a dashing, handsome gent who can turn even your head. <laughs> All right, then. I want you to close your eyes. In fact, I'm making it a formal assignment. No peeking. Why? Shh, no questions. Good students are supposed to listen to their teachers. Oh my god, that's such an inappropriate thing to, thing to say. Well, if you say so. That's <laughs> uh, just a peck. <laughs> <laughs> just think of that as a little appetizer. In a couple of years, if you're still hungry for the main course, come and find me. I'll make it worth the chase. Still, there's no need to rush. I'm willing to wait, if you are. Thanks. Yeah, I expected a lot more than that. Um, just a pack is um, not even close. But still, they just basically openly admitted their feelings, and I was kind of joking about that stuff, but if they go for it, sure, why not? It's kind of an interesting perspective, I don't think I've seen that much. Ooh, it goes to 7. Oh, that's a maximum level. Oh, we drive 2. What, what does that do? Does it give me more turns? Does it, like, give you the buff or something? Also, I'm kind of curious if there's... You know how when the uh, Walking Dead games and the uh, Wolf Among Us and stuff like that, but you get, like, this many players went, went for this, that many players went for that. I'm curious, how many players went for Sarah? Like, for me, it's obvious, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna choose her. Like, out of all the girls there, yeah, her, all the way. But how many other people's, people did this? That's what I'm curious about. So I'm assuming there's gonna be a giant battle right now. Yeah, it does look a little different now. Huh. Also, where the hell is the voice? Okay, that guy's been an asshole. It's kind of an uncommon shame for me to find them processing or exceedingly difficult to save this, but it was done. That I would have been able to do it if not for the help of a stubborn old student of mine over there. <laughs> oh, he's his student. This qualified person on this entire content to call me anyone else stubborn. Yeah, I'm a few instructor. Blah blah blah. It's gonna be once a student that we were instead of technology, but I never connected the dots. And that's how I preferred it to all that a long time ago. And I'd be able to fathom why the two of you chose not to stay and study more under me. <laughs> I wonder why. <laughs> I couldn't possibly I doubt I would have a talent to keep up with you. Keep to keep straight, George, or it won't, won't get through his damn near impenetrable scalp skull, skull is. Tell him you'd go insane if you had to spend years working with an arrogant self-centered prick like him. You'll probably take it. Still, what a beautiful blade it is. The brightness of it is simply dazzling. Uh, probably not as sharp as something a real swordsman would make, though. None of us are smiths by profession. I don't know. Sharpening a giant sword doesn't sound like that complicated of a task. If you can actually make it, should find it easier to use it than to use than any weapon he could have taken from Solder. That's what counts. Still, you already kind of had it. Okay. Well, now when I think about it, that handle is a little too gigantic. I 
she was having a good season, all right. I think I think they finally have a chance. And I did feel this is easier to fill in previous armaments. Well, yeah, the sword is lighter. And I had exposition, blah blah blah. I finally stand, blah 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 blah. Thank you all so much. Save your things. I'm indeed to satisfy my curiosity. Blah 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 blah. blah. Ah, damn. Yeah, 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 they're bickering, nobody cares. And now he's gonna be like, blah, 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 okay, we're finally ready to go. Ah, uh, that moment has arrived, blah, blah, blah. Okay, I've got a time, I'm going to here again in an hour. See what the old learning thing gave you earlier. Oh. Oh my. I hope we Hopefully she didn't prepare anything flamboyant. Although, knowing her, probably. <laughs> so what are we gonna be wearing? Everyone still seems to be wearing the, the stuff they already worn. Ah, oh, the band. Okay, I see. Hmm. All of the students have gathered. That is this seriously so difficult to voice act that. <laughs> Understood. <laughs> it's like three Don't phrases. We'll take good care of them. Just leave them to us. <laughs> okay, that sounds ominous. This is supposed to be a big speech and you don't voice act it. I'm not gonna do this. Come on. It's a game's responsibility. Also, if I'm skipping through the text too fast, yeah, um, I don't think you're missing anything. If you try to read this. May Adios and Dracul's the Lionheart be with you all. And please, come back here safe and unharmed. Our objective is to rescue His Majesty the Emperor, as well as those who were captured with him. God damn, she's adorable. Everyone. Move out! I don't know if she was like, Move out! I would just walk up to her and pinch her cheek. <laughs> She's just too cute. I can't handle it. I can't help it. She's like a... She's like a kitten, I guess. It's ridiculous. Ah, oh, come on, no voice acting again. This is like a big scene and you don't do anything. This is like a song, though. And now she's wearing a hat. Ah, they're going to be hearing anything from Prince Olivia. Yeah, there's no word from Father either. Yeah, they do pro They are probably busy. <laughs> Asked me to try and get in contact with Toll, but I'm not banging him succeeding. That's too bad. It'd be great to have him here too. There's no point in lamenting in what we don't have. Ah, I mean, yes. But all we can do is make the best of our current situation happen with them. Still, battle doesn't begin until midday. We've still got time. Th does it mean I'm gonna get side quest? Because I don't want to do that. <laughs> do I mean? Oh god, it is. Are you serious? You gotta do side quests now? Oh my god, this is ridiculous. <laughs> My god, what gun does it want <laughs> Okay, so FYI, if you don't know, Yarmungan means basically a giant worm. <sighs> so, you know, it's a reference to... <clears throat> when I speak of serpents, what should spring to mind but to fell Yarmungand? But in truth, I have my own glorious serpent. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> This is my job under. Pay no attention to Prince and just kill a monster. 
Oh my god. I was once a woman from Ruhr. When I saw her, I wanted to woo her. She gave me a slap, and I sat in her lap. Now, I have one love of fever. Ah, how I love composing clever verse. Yes, Bond. Uh, okay, so now the monster. He was alive, dear Ian, with the sound of monsters. Highlands, to be more precise, and I'd like you to look into it personally. I hope your skills haven't plateaued yet, because you'll have to fly like there, I said, with wind to deal with this threat. Okay, now monster. Then she strikes close to home for young Ryan, with a strange beast stern up strife on the path to Ymir. Will hands answer a call? Look, he seems to be impressed with his manly feats of strength. Will anyone actually read this? <laughs> I just did! <laughs> okay, Sasquatch. Oh boy. I remember the last time before T80. I think we could handle this. Yeah, and all those requests are boring as hell. It's just to go there and kill a monster. Oh boy. So I'm assuming it's gonna be like, yo, you can do these or you can just go for the. to go with the main story. That's the main story, speak to Tolway in the captain's chair and select commands operation. This is the last time during the story that you will be able to board the courageous. After beginning the operation, it will be no longer possible to take advantage of its facilities or visit our towns. All quests and sub-events will also disappear and trial chests will become permanently unavailable. Well, yeah, it's uh, the end of the game, I get it. Well, you will also have enough chance to buy quartz, item quartz and the like, this will not be for some time. Basically, just saying there's gonna be a last dungeon, it's gonna be annoying as well again. Hell yeah, no brainer. And who else do I take? Oh, yeah, I should probably level up some people who are dragging behind. Uh, yep. Okay. 